Hey guys, it's Troy and I wanted to share with you a pen today uh, where I actually have two of the exact same model and they're very similar in some respects um, and one I planned on getting and one I didn't really plan on ending up with. Cross is a very well-known pen company and I've used Cross pens for many many years and I've already shared with you a couple of videos about Cross um, since 1846. So they've been around for a long time. They're an American pen manufacturer. The AT Cross Company is still in existence and still putting out pens. And this is a model that is still currently in production. It's probably been around from all I can read. This model probably has been out at least 25 years. Um, and there's good reason for that. The Cross Townsend. Um, I originally had picked up this one here because I found it on a really good deal on clearance with a, uh, a major pen distributor. And uh, so I went ahead and especially being a Star Wars aficionado, uh, this is the Cross Townsend, the Star Wars C3PO model. Let me show you what the bottom looks like here. Now, made in China, at least, you know, they are still an American company, but apparently manufacturing currently in China. So let's go ahead and pull this one out, and I'll show you the first Cross Townsend that I'd gotten. So it came in a nice presentation box. Um, it is a C3PO model. They've got that on here. Um, and they came out with different ones uh, within the line. Uh, for instance, there was a Han Solo Frozen and Carbonite Edition. There was a Chewbacca Edition. There was a Boba Fett Edition. And I happened to get the C-3PO. And the only reason I got the C-3PO over the others is, number one, I really like the look. But number two, it was, like I said, it was on clearance. And I got a really good price on it compared to MSRP or how much I've seen it going elsewhere online so you open her up and this is what you get it's kind of interesting because they actually included a little acrylic pen stand and then the pen itself and there's a little pillow here you pull it up and you've got two uh, cross cartridges and in here sat the uh, the converter and that converter is inside this pen it is not inked however so let's put the pillow back close it up set it aside so my Star Wars C3PO one of the first things you notice is that it's got a decent heft to it um, it feels um, fairly well balanced well maybe maybe not depending upon how you look at it because that cap in and of itself is a good heavy cap I'm talking this cap weighs as much as some pens do but then you pull it out and you look at it this this particular one and actually both models I'm going to show you um, are actually the same model except for this one obviously has a C3PO um, engravings on it that make you think about the Star Wars character right there C3PO but this uh, this is a 10 karat gold filled finish and it has an 18 karat gold nib on it like I said it was a cartridge converter pen and this one has been cleaned out it's been uh, put up for a while uh, because I've got a lot of pens and I've got this one comes into rotation from time to time holding it in the hand it, it's you know the cross pen uh, has always been considered to be fairly elegant and I know why it's it's quality you can you can feel the quality in this particular pen you get a nice lacquered if you're into it a nice lacquered section here not everybody likes a nice smooth section but this one here is a, a black lacquer uh, but like I said the rest of it is the 10 karat gold filled one of the first things I noticed too when you go to put it on or take it off is this is a really tight fit on this cap and it's a really long push and a hard push it's also a good little tough uh, pull on it but I guess that makes you know that you've got a good strong seal on that cap it's not going to go anywhere very functional cross clip 
On the top, you've got what should remind you still of C3PO. They do post very nicely, very deeply, very securely, and it clicks into place. You can hear that. One of the reasons for that is that you've got a nice little ridge here on the tail end. And it'll slide in and click into place. But I'll be honest with you, you probably don't want to write with that capped or with the, with that posted because that cap right there actually severely back weights that pen for you. So let's set this one aside and let's look at the other one. The other one came in a presentation box like this. This was new old stock, and I don't know exactly how old, um, but. Uh, this one had never seen ink and I kept seeing the price go down and down and down on this and when you look at the MSRP which for this finish of a pen on um, current pricing is well over four hundred dollars and I decided mm, first there's no way I would want to pay that kind of money for a pen uh, or at least not another of the Cross Townsend, as much as I like one, I already have one. But I watched this come down to close to a fourth of the price. You open her up, and the other thing that intrigued me about this one, it came with its own bottle of Cross ink. So I figured, you know, that's an added bonus. So this is how this one sits. You pull that up, you look under here, this one actually came with a converter, came with a book, and it came with a box of cross cartridges. So I did go ahead and fill this pen with cross black ink. I mean that's a good sized bottle right there, a full two fluid ounces uh, full of black ink. Go ahead and set that aside as well. So, there you go. Two different models, well, two different versions of the same model, both of which are from AT Cross, both of which have the 10 karat gold filled finish, both of which have the 18 karat gold nib. I did not plan on getting this, but when I saw the price it was going for and knowing the quality I was going to get for that amount of money, I went ahead and snagged it. This particular one has a Notre Dame College or Notre Dame University, I guess, logo right there on the clip. That's one of the things Cross is also known for is not only um, coming out with special editions uh, for clients, specific clients. Um, they also come out with like Star Wars special editions. AT Cross, one of the in in interesting things, had the licensing for Star Wars. Well, they also own Schaefer presently. And the Schaefer Pop models came out. And I showed you some of those here in a recent video when I was looking at Cross. So I can show you what some of that. Uh, up there looks like right there the cross name right on the top of that pen um, and then you've got the same Townsend design on both models once again on this one an, a nice long pull on it and a nice hard push in but again you hear that snap so you know that's capped and it's not going to go anywhere same deal on the back end. So you get some very nice striping here on on the gold finish. So I gotta be honest with you. I bought this because I know the quality of that one. Knowing how good this one writes, I decided for the price, I'll just go ahead and snag this. That way I've got two. It's not that I have an affinity for Notre Dame. It's not that I have uh, an affinity necessarily for having the gold finish on the pen. It's that I have an affinity for a good quality cross pen. One of the interesting things too with the Cross Townsend, it comes in more than just gold. 
there's at least seven different colors out there. I mean, there's some that are, have a matte finish. There are some, you know, that have various colors that are out there, lacquered finishes, and different price points. Uh, they've gone for as low as 179 up to close to 500 depending upon the finish and the nib. Some come with steel nibs and some come with the 18 karat gold nibs. Both of these happen to have the 18 karat gold. One of the things I love about cross pens in general is they're very stylish, they're classic, they're elegant looking, and this is something that I wouldn't hesitate to take into a business meeting or into, uh, let's say, a job interview or uh, a, a formal type setting because it's just a, a classic beauty uh, look of a pen. And you've got a very distinguished looking Townsend. You look at that and you know, you know, that just looks like it's quality. And it is. <laughs> so, uh, stunningly beautiful as far as I'm concerned. I absolutely love the look of these two pens. I do like the gold finish uh, personally, uh, but it's not like I had to have the gold. It just turned out that way that I ended up getting two of them. Alright, the highly polished C3PO. Let's go ahead and set that one aside because I know it's not inked. Uh, now, let's go ahead and see how this beauty does write. Like I told you, it does post, but that is a really heavy on the back end. Uh, you've seen the statistics on just the cap alone that I just put up. So, let's see how this baby writes. Across. Cross Townsend. This particular one has a medium nib. It's an 18 carat gold nib. Although, um, even though it's 18 carat, it's still actually a fairly firm nib. It's not meant to be a flex nib, it's meant to be a smooth nib. and it does write very nice, very smoothly. The other thing um, that you'll notice when you go to use one of these is that it tends to be very reliable. Smooth and reliable. Put into this pen the uh, the the ink that came in that bottle along with the pen, so it's cross black. Townsend. Nice, elegant, smooth, good feeling pen. I like how it's balanced when it's in your hand, obviously not with the, the cap on it, but I like it. It's been my carry pen for a while since I did get this particular one. Um, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend a Cross Townsend. If you're looking for quality, um, you know that you can step up to a Cross and get a the Townsend model is probably my favorite model that they put out today. I like the girth on it. You've got like a half inch uh, barrel. Um, I, I like, it almost feels oversized. It is, it's got some heft to it, but it's still considered to be a medium weight pen. It's not extremely heavy, um, but it does have a little bit of heft to it. So you've got a, a feeling of substance when you go to pick it up. Um, I've always recommended cross pens in terms of their quality, in terms of uh, uh, their elegance, and that's just what I like. Simple, elegant quality. Mm -hmm.